What's going on YouTube is Eddie back from Double Baby. I hope each and one of you guys are having a great day. We're gonna go over some support settings that I use for my 3D printing because a bunch of you guys have been asking what do I use for my settings to get my support to come off easier. But let's get straight into the video and let's hop in here. So now that we're inside of Kira, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a random print. Let's bring in the green Power Ranger, right? The one we recently just did. All right, just for um, video purposes, I'm gonna scale this super down for you guys. So you guys can get the idea. We're gonna open our drop down window. We're gonna scroll the supports. And I really didn't change much at all. Um, everything is kind of the same. My support structure is normal. Support placement, I normally do touching the build plate to save on filament. Unless I really kind of don't trust the print and I want to do touching everywhere. Um, my overhang, I live about at 45. My support pattern, I have it at zigzag. My wall count, one. Um, I connect the support zigzags, I got that checked. And this is what really like, like I said, I didn't really change anything. But this is like what really, really like made it to come off like super easy. You know what I mean? So the support density, that's what really made my supports come off easier. Cause it's like, I think Kira, let's see. I think it starts you at like 20. Yeah, it starts you at 20 um, for the default. That is way too much. You're going to be struggling to get your supports off. Like I did at the beginning when I first started my 3D printing journey. But what I did is I dialed it down to about 3%, maybe five at the highest. That tends to work for me. I don't have any problems with my support. Um, but that's the only thing I really changed is my support density. So that's really all I changed to be honest at this like stage of my 3D printing. That's the only thing I changed to be my support to come off that easy. But like always, if you're a new watcher, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like and comment below. And if there's videos that you want to see or want me to do or even 3D prints you want me to make, um, just let me know. You know what I mean? Leave it down in the comments. I always read my comments. I might not be able to get back to every single one, but I definitely do read them. So just let me know. And thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day.